So today I'm going to show you two things that you can sterilize your baby bottles with that kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria. The microwave method and then we're going to be using a electrical sterilizer. That we're also going to show you the way we dry the bottles. So the first method is this Avon Phillips microwavable baby bottle sterilizer. As for the bottles, we are using the same bottles as the brand of the sterilizer. They're called Phillips Avon Natural Bottles and they have a slow flow rate and they're anti-colic. So a lot less chance for the air to get into your baby and then obviously the less chance of you needing to basically burp them or then developing some gas. When the bottle is done, first you want to rinse, rinse, rinse. You want to separate the nipple. All right, now this has little icons here. So little bottle icon, little nipple icon. So nipples go where the nipples, bottles go with the bottles, right? This will also work with some other bottles, but I mean, this is designed for the Avent Phillips bottles. And they come in different sets. You can buy one as individual. You can get a kit of six um, and other denomination. These bottles are 125, which is four ounce. Good for newborns, but then eventually you do want to get bigger bottles. 260 ml, for example, right? Okay, so get the nipple separated. And then you put this over the nipple. This shouldn't be here, it should be here. Like this, like that. And then you take this, and then you again put this on top, but you don't clip it in. Also, anything that is sterilized will last 24 hours as long as you don't pop the lids open. It's going to remain sterilized so that way in the morning you can basically just pour milk in there or thaw any frozen breast milk. Now this uses 250 ml of water and if you've been using this maybe 2-3 times, you may want to just drain it, clean the bottom tray and then just refill it with the new 250 ml of water just so it doesn't smell stale. By the way, you can use this to sterilize other items as well like silicone bibs and it's that nature. So then we we'll put this in, and then you just put it in for two minutes. If you really want, you can. If you have a crappy microwave, you can put it in for three minutes. And that is the advantage of the Philips Avid microwave sterilizer. We'll put three. Start. Now the alternate one that we use, it's a plug-in electric. It's called the Philips Avon 3-in-1 Electric Steam Sterilizer. It comes with two hoppers and that's if you have a lot more stuff that you want to sterilize. However, it also takes five minutes flat to sterilize everything. And this one has a heater element at the bottom. You plug this into a regular socket. You put 150 ml of water. By the way, um, all these minerals and things, they can be removed with uh, white vinegar and a little baking soda. Just let it sit for like five minutes and it will just come right off. Um, this is where you put your bottles and taller bottles as well. Like this one will accommodate tall bottles as well. And then same here, it's got little icons for, this is where your nipples go. Nipple goes here and this goes on here. And there's like a little clip and then the lid goes and it actually sits on top. So that's the way you would do that and just start this one. To start it, you just press this button. That's it. And then it starts boiling that water and it's going to start evaporating all and sterilizing. This, will take, this one takes five minutes. But if you want to do two at the same time, you put the first hopper on with the bottles, then the small hopper with the nipples, and then the lid. Uh, and this is the Philips Advent tall version, I guess I'll call it. This drying rack, also you may want to consider this comes in different widths. So this essentially makes it really easy for the bottles to dry up. These are little silicone beads here, and then it holds nipples, bottles, just makes it easier so it doesn't screw up your counter. These also come wider um, as well, like you can get wide versions of these. You guys heard the microwave beep now. So now we're gonna take this out now. One thing you should know that if you don't open this, I can feel this water boiling. If you don't open this, this will remain sterilized for 24 hours and so will the other hopper. So again, if you don't open this after it's done, then it's going to remain sterilized in there for 24 hours. So that way in the morning or whenever you're going to clean, uh, the bottles are going to be ready. But I'm going to open this up for you. When you open this, always stay away from this and then because you're going to get steam in your face potentially. And there you have it. So now this is all dry. Sorry, sterilized I mean. So now we're going to take this. And then we're going to stack this right here. Like that. And 
in and that's basically how you do it so thanks for watching and i uh, hope this has been helpful bye bye